What does the drawing mean, Walter, and why am I in it? Well, if it's a companion to the original picture, it means that you and Peter both have a connection with the machine. But why? I mean, why am I connected to it? Perhaps your friend here could enlighten us. Well, I mean, all I know is the original manuscript is very clear on this point. The lockbox contains the crowbar. Then the answer is unavoidable. Apparently, you have the ability to turn off the force field that's keeping Peter out and open the machine for long enough for him to get inside. How am I supposed to do that? Well, the answer lies in the drawing. Otherwise, why draw it? Waves, it would seem. Hey, be careful with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's your answer. Huh? You, Olivia, have the power to bend things with your mind. That's what you're doing in this drawing, if you look at it the right way. Walter, you're not seriously talking about telekinesis. No, I, I can't. Yes, you can. You've done it before. Two years ago, David Robert Jones. <laughs> she diffused a bomb by turning off some light with her mind. Walter, that was different. But it was less advanced. Well, I'm afraid there's something else. Since it's the machine on the other side that's turned on, that's the machine you'll have to interact with. You're not suggesting that I need to cross over? No. The same part of your mind that allows you to cross over contains your ability of telekinesis. They should be able to work together in combination. To control the machine over there from over here. In theory, yes. No, it's ridiculous. And even if it was possible, I mean, manipulating a light is nothing compared to manipulating the machine. Right, of course. It requires a much greater degree of control. But to practice, start on something smaller. How do we do that? 